Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I'm excited to do a review for you guys, pretty much a first impressions on the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. I've already uh, cleansed and moisturized my face and put on some um, Urban Decay B6 spray because that is usually what I do during the day before I apply my foundation or primer. So I went ahead and already done that. But um, to, for a primer, I've decided to go with Tarte's uh, Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Um, usually when I'm trying something new, I tend to like to go, um, whether it's a foundation or an eyeshadow, I tend to want to go with that particular um, brand's primer because I think I think that it will be, it will give me the best, um, that it will give me the best application. You know, it'll it'll be true to its performance that way. So I'm just going to put this on. I really do like this uh, primer. It, I'm I like silicone primers. I don't like anything with a color. So um, it's either going to be creamy or uh, creamy like a lotion or this uh, silicone top of based so anyway just getting that everywhere don't want to do it it's available in 15 colors and I think that is awesome so there should be something out there for everybody and something else that I also like about uh, this foundation is for everybody combination oily dry whatever whatever your um, skin situation may be there is a uh, you know you can use this and I think that's phenomenal um, I've run into so many problems, I've got a little bit there, where um, I'll look at a foundation I'm like, you know, it's got everything I need, but it's for dry skin and I'm, you know, oily combo, so whatever. So I'm just going to dab this around. And as with any um, foundation that I've seen around that is high end, they uh, prefer that you use their brush, but I'm, I'm not going to. I did not purchase that, so I'm just going to use the um, Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki to work all this in. This is a full coverage foundation, and it has an SPF on it, and it's all free. And it claims 12 hour wear. That is fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to work all of this in with my brush. Sorry for the palette, guys. I just I'm going to do a review on it. So I've got it laid out here too. Even though you may not, um, it's, it may be frowned upon to do so. I like to have a little bit of foundation, right? You know, put a little bit on my eyelids if I do my foundation first, just because I have um, discoloration and you know, like cave darkness going on back in there. So I want to try to cover that up as much as possible. That's pretty decent coverage. Full coverage, it says. So I'm just going to do just a little bit more around on my forehead where I have these scars. I just want to make sure everything is pretty much right here in the middle is where I want a lot of my cream foundation to be. Somebody asked me the other day that um, watches my videos that um, I kind of inadvertently know like it's a friend of a friend and um, she um, she was around. She had come up with my actual friend, and uh, she said, um, I, "I was watching your videos. Is those moles on your lips real?" Talking about these two. Yes, <laughs> they are real. I do not put these dudes on. That you know, it is just what it is. Seriously, yes, they are mine. God sent them. I signed for them. The world keeps spinning, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of that. 
it's not oily either this foundation it just seems to be a great like matte it seems to be a great just matte foundation so yeah there we go I like it it seems to I uh, want it seems to blend well and I'm pretty excited about it I guess here good coverage um, all in all, I think it's going to be a good foundation. I think that the color selection is great. I love that there is an SPF in it. Of course, if you know anything about me, you know that I love that. Um, and it's not its not a greasy feeling. It's really not. I think I'll finish this look. Okay, guys. So, it has been... Um, it's been about seven, eight... No, let's say nine hours since I uh, first applied the Tarte. 12 hour Amazonian clay foundation and I have to say that it's wearing rather well and I like the, that it's lightweight and um, I've been kind of out shopping around and you know doing my thing and I don't feel like it's just slumped down so I'm really excited that it's holding as well as it is and it does give a pretty decent coverage um, of course it is full coverage but I feel like it does um, cover pretty good so pretty excited about it Anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm excited about it. Look for it in my July favorites. Hopefully, it will be in there if I'm still continuing to love it. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.